Hi, this is Murph again, uh, and I will show you um, how to uh, connect to Windows 2012 instance running on a Windows Azure platform uh, through an RDP client uh, uh, in Linux. So, in Linux, uh, the RDP client that I use uh, in most cases is called uh, uh, Remina Remote Desktop Client, and you can install it from the Ubuntu uh, Software Center. You should be able to install it uh, even in Fedora or other distribution as well. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so as you know, uh, when you uh, run a Windows uh, 2000 Windows instance in the uh, Windows Azure platform, um, if you click on the Connect button uh, here, it downloads an RDP shortcut, which usually works on a Windows. Uh, uh, you know, uh, desktop OS or, or client OS, uh, because uh, Windows comes up with, uh, in most cases, the Windows RDP remote desktop client. So if you launch it, it should open automatically in that case. But in in Linux, uh, it doesn't do that because you know Linux doesn't have a default RDP client uh, associated with RDP files. So what I usually do is basically uh, once I uh, have the instance running, if I create a new instance, the first thing I do is basically um you can keep the same port endpoint port uh that comes up as default uh, but i usually like to change it to something that i know that all is rdp which is 3389 public port you can keep the same port but you have to specify uh on your uh, remote desktop client that that's the port you want so by changing that i don't have to pass any port number when i use uh go to remina and provide uh, my dns name of the of the uh, this VM uh, in that case it will automatically choose the default which is 3389 and once I do that okay and looks like it's done Let's see here Let's see something is uh, doing right now take some time While we're waiting, uh, let me get the uh, the DNS name of my server here. Uh, okay, right click and copy. It's taking a long time. Yeah, I'm not sure why uh, Windows Azure takes a long time to update uh, update these security groups or endpoint, in other words. Uh, I found it way faster in uh, with, uh, Amazon EC2. Okay, so we're done. So now I will open up my Remina desktop client and I'm going to click on uh, a new connection with plus sign here. And uh, I can save it. Uh, when I can save it as the name so that I know I can connect it later on. And then uh, put this name here username administrator. Okay, I don't have a domain. Uh, I can choose a default use client uh, resolution, but I usually like just make it custom. Um, that gives me the ability to do other works on my Linux desktop and also be connected here. So I want to choose a higher resolution here, like 1400 by 1050. That should be enough. Uh, I will choose 16-bit color. You can choose a higher uh, higher settings, but usually, you know, if you choose a little bit lower, like 16 bits, uh, then the uh, if your network network performance is slower uh, in your ISP, then uh, you should be still okay. But if you choose a higher bit, then you may have some lag, uh, depending on your you know ISP connection. Um, so once I choose this, uh, I select. Uh, I, I usually save it, and then I will double click on it, and I ask him a certificate uh, acceptance, and I will say okay. And now it's connecting me to my Windows 2012 server instance uh, hosted in the Azure cloud on the Windows Azure cloud. Okay, it's taking some time.
okay. as you see the diamond the windows here okay I'm installing the uh, server manager so uh, that's about it uh, it's, it's so simple um, thank you for watching